Hello YouTube, this is the Florida Rider. Out on a non-beautiful day today. Yes, that's right everybody. The weather in Florida is not perfect. It's cloudy. That's because we are in hurricane season. Sounds dramatic, doesn't it? It's that time of the year down here in the tropics where the wind and rain are the stars of the show. Now I want you to understand that hurricane season is just what they have titled it. It doesn't mean we have hurricanes all the time. My region of Florida hasn't had a hurricane since 1921 and we hope to keep it that way. It basically means that between 3 and 4 p.m. until later in the evening you can count on getting wet if you're on a motorcycle. So today what I thought we'd talk about is death. Yes, that's right, death. D-E-A-T-H. No, I am not dying, and I hope that you're not dying either. Because that could ruin your day. Anyway. Here in Florida, we have a lot of motorcycles. And that means we have a lot of motorcycle accidents. And, unfortunately, some of those accidents result in deaths. Now, I am a member of several Facebook motorcycle groups for my area. And... When a motorcycle goes down, everybody gets into a frenzy and starts looking for clips and checking in and this and that. Rightfully so. We all have friends and family out there and we want to make sure that they're okay. And normally they are. The worst part of this though is the waiting. In Florida they have to notify the family before they can give out any information and that is something that I agree with 100%. You don't want anyone to wake up and find out first from the news that a loved one has died in a motorcycle accident. The worst part of that is the waiting. I'll give you a couple of examples. Last Sunday, some of my friends were out riding, and I knew exactly where they were going. I also knew what time they were leaving, and so I could sort of guess their position in my mind, because I had been that route many times before. Well, it just so happened that an accident happened on one of the roads that they would be riding on. And I did the calculations on the timing and everything, and it was about the time that they'd be approaching that area. And so I went online and I chatted with a few others who know these people, and we all sent them about a million text messages and hadn't heard back. And then we continued waiting, and we all used different websites to looked for information and we compared notes and this and that and we waited and waited and waited and finally the name was released and that's when we all breathed a sigh of relief it wasn't our friend it turned out that he and our other friends were out riding and having so much fun that they hadn't looked at their phones to find out that we were worried to death about them <laughs> But it also turns out that they did go by the accident just after it happened. So it could have been them, but luckily it wasn't. But the point is that it took a good three hours for us to be able to calm down a little bit because none of us were really panicking, but I'm sure it was going through all of our minds. What if it is? What if it is? What if it is? Another example I can give you is back in January, there was an accident, I believe it was around 10 o'clock in the morning or so, and I scrambled to find all the information I could on it, and there were a few pictures of the bike, and it was a Red Ninja, I believe, and it, they had said that the rider was 20 years old, and I do have some 20-year-old friends from riding, but none of them ride a Red Ninja, so I said to myself, Phew! 
the chances of this being someone I know are almost zero. Well, I was having lunch about 3 o'clock that afternoon, and I just happened to check that story again, and it turned out it was somebody I knew. And I remember the waitress came over and said, Can I take your order? And I said, Oh my god. And she said, What? What? And I told her that someone I knew was just killed in a bike accident. And she left and brought me some water. <laughs> Luckily, the place that I was at has free Wi-Fi. And I was able to confirm it and send out a few other messages to a few other friends that we have. R.I.P. Tony. Anyway, back to the point. So to me, the waiting for the news of the name of the newly deceased is the worst part of the information. I don't really know why I'm vlogging about this other than the fact that it just happened to me again on Sunday. But that's probably it. Sorry this is so scattered. This is the Florida Writer signing off. Goodbye.